this has been something we've wanted to do for a really long time. Uh, we spent a lot of time on the road and making albums and doing other things. So we just really hadn't had the time to start it until a couple of years ago where these two wonderful ladies um, that, who happened to be both, who happened to be married to us both, uh -huh. um, our wives, um, decided to um, start the foundation and um, kind of get it going. And, you know, it's just been a, an amazing success. Um, I guess the idea was to put more instruments in more children's hands and provide opportunity to those that normally wouldn't get it. You know, I think those were the, the pillars and um, it's been going well. I mean, we have um, three grants that we offer. Uh, one of them is the um, James Miles Musical Innovative Grant and it's named after our high school teacher um, who taught us how to play, but also gave us a lot of little things along the way and connected dots. Like he bought my first instrument for me and I paid him $50 a month while working at Levitt's wow. Furniture to pay for the instrument. Wow. Or we were both, Will and I, we were in a, in a band camp, so to speak, in uh, West Virginia in summer school, in a summer camp, and we didn't have a way back home and he drove up to come get us in his van. And we all drove back from West Virginia. And it's just like little things like that. Um, a private teacher to get us, um, you know, ready for college. We'd never had private lessons before. And then, you know, junior year, he found a way to get, get us private lessons. So it, it was just those things. So we created a grant to kind of do those same similar things to other kids around the country. So they put in an application that has a video where they perform and an interview section where they talk about what, what they want. And it could be anything. It could be uh, a summer camp. It could be private lessons. It could be an instrument. It could be uh, pay for my trip to Juilliard to audition. It, anything, any kind of gap fillers, that's what that grant is for. Um, we also have a diversity, equity, and inclusion grant where it's sort of um, about really building programs that allow um, for more access um, to instruments or to um, programs for, you know, young black and brown kids across the country. Um, and we also have just an instrument drive that we partnered up with the Baroque Violin Shop. And we um, do a whole instrument drive where, you know, kids can get instruments, you know, really good quality instruments too. Um, you know, so we do that per year. You can get more information on blackviolinfoundation.org. And, you know, it's really important, you know, it's just an important thing for us to, to give back. You know, we're in a, awesome situation where we have this great platform and um, it is an extension of who we are and we're just you know blessed that we're able to have a foundation that is also kind of family run and it's um, everything is just like or authentically us and we're able to not just perform, but to give back to, to, to everyone at the same time. Yeah, Boy, I just love the components of what your foundation is working on. You're taking away the barriers that would stand in the way of people pursuing music as their passion. And when you think about barriers or equity and how you have broken industry norms, really, and you've fought for equity in classical music, Speak to us broadly about the power of equity and, you know, what have you learned on your journey and anything that you might relate to health equity? I mean, it's 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 crucial. I mean, you know, we understand firsthand what it means to just not be in a position to really, you know, pursue some of the things that you want to pursue simply because you don't have the means. I remember, I remember being in, in middle school. I used to walk by this park. Holiday Park in Sunrise, and I used to see this big flyer that that says, come and learn gymnastics or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, me being from the islands, the biggest dream I always had was to be in the Olympics, right? And even though I played the viola, but I wanted I wanted so badly to be in the Olympics, run track or something, or just be, you know, do gymnastic. And I remember just not having the means. I didn't have, like, insurance, health insurance. You know, that was one of the biggest things. I didn't have health insurance, and I couldn't even, I couldn't do that. And I had music that didn't really require um, health insurance, but, you know, things like that, you know, where kids are just, or people are just paralyzed because of things that I feel like it should nest, should be available to all, in my opinion. You know, these things should be, should be something that is just like, you know, you have, you know, you, you have, you should have the right to have health insurance, you should have the right to have access to these things. They're going to elevate you to just, you know, be the best person that you can possibly be you know i think about the kids that are just it can really stifle a kid it can really put a kid in a position that that they don't want to feel or want to dream you know what i mean i was one of those kids that just if i didn't have music if i didn't have something an outlet i mean i couldn't imagine where i would have been because you know you know kids have imagination they want to dream they want to be able to really think of themselves in higher place and higher heights and, 
And if these these things are in front of them and they don't have the access, it just really kills them, kills their dreams. You know what I mean? So that's why we we um you know we push for these things so much. You know, equity, and uh, we understand firsthand. And just not only just health, just music, just everything, man. We live in such a we live in a place that the the resources are there. You know what I'm saying? And we have to see we have to see each other and be able to look. Listen. I have all of this, you know, I can, I can give this person this or this person that I don't need all of this, you know? And I think the issue with our society, we don't see each other as equal. We don't see each other really. And I think that's something that we, um, obviously would partner with you guys, you know, with us, that's what we try to strive to do. We're trying to open this, you know, kind of just allow people to see through a different lens, you know, that, um, we all, we all deserve these, these basic things to allow us to to be free and actually to actually be present be joyful you know so it's important it's crucial